Due to popular demand, Black Square's Dukes for Microsoft Flight Simulator will include several exterior elements which can be triggered on and off via the payload page of the new tablet interface. Like all other systems in Black Square aircraft, these would not be included unless each one served a purpose. For instance, the wheel chocks can actually stop the aircraft from rolling without the brakes on. The pitot and static covers blow in the wind, providing a visual indication of wind direction and velocity, just like a real pilot would use absent a nearby wind sock. Engine covers can serve to keep the engine warm in cold environments, but make sure you remove them before starting the engines or else there will be no cooling air. If you take off with them installed, cylinder head and oil temperatures will skyrocket, almost certainly damaging the engines beyond serviceability. There's also an external power cart, appropriately sized for the aircraft. Unlike overkill diesel generator ground power units, this is merely a bank of batteries to help supplement the aircraft's onboard battery and keep voltages high while starting. This can be especially useful with turbine aircraft to help keep engine starts cool while operating in extreme ambient temperatures. Lastly, we have another first for Microsoft Flight Simulator, a propane-powered engine preheater, the bane of existence of many pilots in the northern latitudes. We've talked a lot about temperature in other Black Square aircraft, but this is the first one to give you some control over the engine temperature before starting. This is particularly critical with reciprocating engine aircraft, which can be destroyed by one start in frigid conditions. Meanwhile, turbine aircraft can usually start regardless of the temperature, so long as battery performance is good enough to get the gas generator RPM up to the prescribed minimum. That being said, the performance of the systems in both aircraft, especially the starter motors, will suffer noticeably when temperatures are really cold. And this is all simulated. To demonstrate the difference that preheating can make, let's crank the engine when all internal temperatures are around minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 26 Celsius. The starter is lethargic, and the maximum attained RPM is lower, making the engine harder to start. We can also hear the gyroscopes in the cockpit are less well lubricated and spinning slower on their bearings. For comparison, here's the engine cranking at room temperature. To deploy the propane heater, use the toggle switch anytime the brakes are on or the chocks are in. The heater will increase the temperature of the engine and all of its components to around 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius above the ambient temperature in around 10 minutes. The heater should be deployed anytime the reciprocating engine is below around 10 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 12 degrees Celsius. There's no such limitation for the turbine powered aircraft but it can be deployed anytime temperatures are in the negatives to increase engine longevity. While we're waiting for the heater to do its work, we can monitor the cylinder head and oil temperatures on the instruments. You might have to tap the gauge to get a more accurate reading because the needles can become stuck for small movements when the engines aren't running and providing vibration. We can also look at the tablet interface. In both versions of the aircraft, the engine oil in the sumps and galleries has a color that indicates its temperature and viscosity. Dark black color means the oil is very cold and viscous. Red means the oil is beginning to run dangerously hot. As the heater warms up the engine, we should begin to see the oil change colors from black to a more recognizable brown. We can also get an idea of the oil's viscosity by running the pre-oiler in the reciprocating engine version of the aircraft. This is an electric oil pump which is used to deliver pressurized oil to the galleries before starting. In the reciprocating engine version of the aircraft, we can also run the combustion air heater to warm up the cabin, so even the gyroscopes and the passengers will be happy when we get in to start the aircraft. Unfortunately, this is not possible with the turbine version of the aircraft because the combustion air heater is not certified to run on Jet A. 
Once the oil is warmed up, we can crank the engine for a normal start. Stay tuned for more technical information on Black Square's Dukes for Microsoft Flight Simulator coming up soon. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.